Cowboys fans were up in arms after the refs didn't give Dak a touchdown on this third down run from Sunday, and Zeke let his frustration be known as well. After the win, Elliott said, quote, there's no excuse for that. That's ridiculous, the way they called that game tonight, but at least we were able to overcome the Patriots and the Zebras. Shannon, is it a good idea or bad idea for Zeke to call out the refs? Let it go. Skip, you know how this thing, they balance out over the course of a game and over the course of the season. There are going to be times that you're going to get called, you're going to look back like, man, I got away with one there. Man, I, I held on that play, or I blocked in the back on that play. It balances out over the course of the season. There was no reason. Now what you do is you're paying a the target. They're going to be looking at you. Like, oh, you want to call us out? Now, you do realize that they read the papers, too. They watch television also. I, I, I understand that you think this is not their full-time job. They have normal job Monday through Friday in which they watch television, they read paper, they get online, and they hear things like this. Oh, so y'all thought we've showed them preferential treatment and we was going against you guys. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll see. Mm. Just let it go, guys. You won the game. It was a hard-fought game. You won. You overcome a lot, of, a lot of things that with your own self was inflicted by yourself. A lot of those penalties, you actually did. And you were over to, able to overcome those things. There's nothing like being over to, able to overcome adversity, Skip, in a win. It's like, yeah, if we clean up some things, we could have won this game. But you get to say, we can clean up some things in a win and be even more dominant. You almost had 600 yards, Skip. Yep. Time of possession, you dominated. Yardage, you dominated. First downs, you dominated. Mm. Every statistical category, you dominated. Mm. Right? Don't make it about the officials. You mm. won the game. Just mm. keep it moving. Mm. I was shocked when I read these comments from Ezekiel Elliott and not pleasantly shocked. I'm talking about unpleasantly shocked because this was so wrong in so many ways. They might send him a letter. He might get a little, might get a little package from FedEx in his, in his locker. Well, he's going to get a big package. <laughs> this is going to be a big, blatant fine. And to your point, they won the game. They won. What are you doing? You got out alive. Thank you. You, you survived Belichick. Mm -hmm. You can go back and you got two weeks now to get right, to, to get healthy, to get ready for a trip to Minnesota. You're, you're five and one. Yes. And, and why would you why would you dare the so to speak, devil on this one? Why, to your point, they they all hear this, they're gonna right. read it, and they're gonna be like, really? Mm -hmm. Really? Because this is a complete call out. He says there's no excuse for the officiating tonight. It's ridiculous. And he says, but at least we're able to overcome the Patriots and the Zebras? <laughs> and the Zebras? <laughs> it is the biggest shot fired. Yeah. Because that's not exactly what happened in that game. <laughs> exactly. There was a blown call at the goal line right. to me. Yes. But it was a hard call because there was like five thousand right. pounds of flesh right on top of mm -hmm. Dak Prescott on third down and he goes underneath we saw obviously Josh Allen get stonewalled last night on right. a quarterback sneak right and I kept tweeting just sneak it and it looks like he's got a little open path that he doesn't get stonewalled and it looked like he fell across the goal line with the football right and it was pretty blatantly obvious to me that underneath that pile of humanity he scored and I tweeted immediately, he scored. And then I, on the second review, I said, he scored easily. Right. Well, how can you not see that? And then my coach, Mike McCarthy, who, who botches everything, you, you got to wait a beat just right. to make sure they have time to replay it enough. Mm -hmm. But the NFL official statement said, we reviewed it from all angles and we couldn't could definitively nothing, tell. There's right. nothing definitive about right. it. Right. Well, it was to my eye, and maybe. Maybe you can't see the, the outcome of the play, right. but, but you can see him enter the goal line area and seem to fall forward. Right. So it, it's almost like two plus two equals yeah, number but, four but, score. Yeah, but they, they, don't, they don't like to do that in the NFL saying two plus two equals four because, yeah, it looked like he had a crease right there because the ball might be over. Yeah, but the ball might not be over also. Okay. So you 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 leave it as standing right. called on the field. So that's why Zeke was most outraged was over that call. Right. But it wasn't like a spate of calls right. cost them. Because right. Because there, there were several. There was a hands to the face. Right. There's some that are like right. ticky-tack, 50 But you 50. got a call, Skip. Remember, the, the Patriots got a touchdown call back because the guy was holding. Yeah. 
I so, know. Mac Jones threw another touchdown yes, pass. Yes. And there was a hold call that, that negated seven points. Seven points. That would have made it what? I think it would have made it 21 to seven. It would have made it 21 to seven. And I'm not sure we could have climbed yeah. out of that hole. So. But, but then how about the play of the game, the last third and three play right. that Mac Jones was a little high and outside. Right. You got a face Aguilar, mask. And Anthony, Anthony Brown, Brown just quickly reaches. I think we have it. He yeah, just quickly reaches and grabs his that's mask. That's a face mask. He grabbed his mask as he turned and held him a little bit. It, it yeah, just, you, you, you can barely see it. You have right. to slow it down. Yeah, but he had, but he, but they could have easily called that. He grabbed his mask and it impeded his progress right. toward the football. They could have easily called this. It just happened so fast. It was faster than the naked eye of the referee. Correct. But if you call that, that's 15 yards. Exactly. And all of a sudden, they're first and 10 in your territory, and I don't know what happens right. because now we're in overtime. Right. Well, do you march down and score? Then they win. Exactly. Right? And so that's the thing, Skip. You know, you, when you when you've played this game as long as Zeke has, you know their calls because I, I look like, man, man, we they, they got us on this call. And then I go back and watch the tape, like, oh, yeah. We got away with that one. That was a hole right yeah. there. Well, our offensive line, they should have got a hole. Okay. Or we got a face mask on the defense that they didn't even call. All right. So in the end, it was 12 penalties against my team and only five against Belichick's team. Right. So it was 12 to five. But you got but, to penalize a lot anyway. Okay, we are because we sometimes <laughs> look undisciplined yes. and poorly coached. Thank you. And I'm the first to admit it. But the point was, to my, my eye test of the game told me that the 12 to 5 was not egregiously right. out of line. Right. You know, it wasn't out of whack. That Okay, they missed a few here, they missed right. a few there, but the one they missed the most was With the third down short, sneak. Yeah, short because if you, if you give me that one, right. we start to take control of the game mm -hmm. because we, you know, talk about shooting yourself in the foot. As great as number four was in that game, right. we have two red zone turnovers where he throws an interception into the end zone. Right. And then on fourth down, obviously, he loses the ball going over the top. And right. it was clearly a lost football. Yes, so, yes. So Bentley got knocked it out, knocked it loose. Mm -hmm. So they gave up, you know, 14 points right there. Right. Yeah, and, just and we got a different game. Zeke, you but won. Zeke, just leave it alone. What, what are you doing? Yeah, I, you won. I, just leave it you alone. Know, I admire sort of the chutzpah of it. Right. I, I admire the brazen sort of fight that you have. Where, right. Where, but it's it's not smart. Yeah, you know, look, we overcame some 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 things in the game. But uh, it just shows the resiliency of this football team is that we don't let bad situations or bad calls one way or another. We know these things are going to even out in the ball game. Put a positive spin on it. Yeah. You know, hey, the officials are human. They're yeah. going to make mistakes just like we made mistakes. We threw an interception. Yeah. We fumbled the football, yada, yada, yada. Right. Put a positive spin on it. It's like, okay, look at, man, look at OZ giving us some credit. Yeah, but it, it, as Z tries to become a leader this year for this team, yep. if they had gotten robbed and lost the game and right. he stood up on his soapbox and said, that's unacceptable, right. the, the locker room would applaud. They, they won. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? It's wrong-headed. Right. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. You lose the game, you make this statement, but you won. Hey. Way to go, Zeke. <laughs> Maybe he's just frustrated that he didn't get his 100 yards. Oh, come Minnesota time, you already know... Mm. That, there, that's, that's Y'all might have about 15 penalties yeah, this game. <laughs> I'm Minnesota time. I'm counting it down yeah. and saying my prayers. Uh, does LeBron have the upper hand over Katie and Giannis as the season tips off tonight? Chris Broussard will join us. Let's get his thoughts as well next. He threw the game-winning touchdown pass to CeeDee Lamb. The Cowboys signal caller said he felt funny as he landed in yesterday. An MRI confirmed he has a calf strain. However, some reports indicate Dallas is confident he'll be ready after the team's bye week, which obviously comes at a great time right now. Shannon, gut feeling here. Will Dak be able to play at Minnesota a week from Sunday? That could be fine. I'm trying to figure out how all these guys get any calf injuries, Skip. <laughs> Chubb with a calf and Hunt with a calf uh -huh. and Dak with a calf and Gallup with a calf. We're yep. seeing more calf injuries mm -hmm. that maybe they didn't chart them. Maybe they just said lower leg when I was playing. But I don't remember this many guys, this significant amount of guys mm. having calf injuries. But I'm not worried. The, the best thing about it, Skip, they're not on an early week. They don't have to play Thursday. They don't have to play Sunday or Monday. They don't play till the following mm -hmm. week. So he has a lot of time. And like I said, I'm not so sure that he was going to go anyway. So he'll be getting treatment around the clock, 24 hours a day. All the equipment that they have at Dallas, they'll take that equipment to Dak's home so Dak will be getting treatment. 
Dak gonna have one trainer from the Cowboys mm -hmm. living with him for for the next 14 days, Skip? I hope so. <laughs> Dak, Dak gonna have company. So I, if you have a family in town, Dak, mm. just tell him, oh, yeah, he'll train for the Cowboys. Mm. Because that's what it's gonna be, Skip. And so, look, Dak said he believes he could have continued to play. I know that's adrenaline talking. Mm -hmm. He's probably sore. He's probably a lot sore today than he was Sunday after the game and even Monday. But I think as the week progresses, it will subside. Mm. I expect Dak to be fine come mm. October 31st, which is high. Halloween, mm. but it's going to get real spooky for you is guys it? in Minnesota. Yeah. So, Shannon Sharp is not a doctor, but he's playing one on TV. Yeah, I am, I am, am I right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so you have already diagnosed this as nothing. It's like a nothing burger. Yeah, That's what you yeah, said yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing. Like, just put a little tape on it and play. Yeah, it's right? I mean, going to get 25 of the tree. I mean, every two hours, he's going to be getting treatment. He'll be eye stem, mm. a little bit of massage. Make, yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, I think you're like that woman in the commercial who's playing doctor and says her kidneys are beating. Do you yeah. know that ad? Yeah, so that's who you're playing. <laughs>